Well, hello, Daddy's Workshop. It's been a really long time since we've had uh, a chance to do a one-on-one -on -one like this, so I figured I would open up with a new toy I got. Um, I just turned 45, and for my 45th birthday, my lovely wife got me a new Apple Watch. I had another one. I had one for about almost five years to the day. It was an Apple, III, uh, an Apple Watch 3, and for some reason, I touched something with it, uh, and it cracked. And I'm meticulous about how I paid attention to that thing. It had no scratches. It was always covered up. Uh, and so I figured in this video, instead of going through all of what the buttons mean and how all of those work, because I think that a lot of you have done that, probably watched a lot about these and tried to figure out which one you want, I figured I would go over screen protectors. And I have two different types here. Okay, and I bought both of these thinking that they were the one that I wanted. I bought this one first, and then I bought this one second. And I'll go ahead and I'll put... Links for them down below so you can pick them up after Amazon. They're not that expensive. I think this was like 12 bucks and this was like eight or nine. Um, so the first one, this is a hard plastic shell and uh, this is the top, this is the bottom. It's actually, this piece here is meant to actually touch the watch. And initially I thought it was awesome, it was great. And then I took a shower with it and a ton of water and gook got below it. And when that happened, it made it difficult to sort of change around. Like the, the functionality of touching the watch was a little bit different, but um, it looked really cool. So um, to go ahead and put it on, there's two different stops. There's the dial side and then there is the push button side. So this is the dial side on mine. This is the push button side. There's another button here too, but that's just how I remember. And you literally take it and you kind of pop it on like so, and then you just push it down. And, you know, it's okay. It, 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 it does work back and forth a little bit. What I liked about it was it's super, super strong. What I didn't like about it, other than the, the water thing that I talked about, is if you look here, the, the one of the greatest functional pieces of this watch, other than its size, for those of you getting older, you know what I mean? It's getting harder to read things. You need glasses. So other than its size, I loved the dial. I thought the dial was amazing. Um, and here, the, my functionality with the dial just is not as much. Coupled that with how the, how the touching kind of goes on here. I mean, I do like it that it looks a little bit bigger, but I think what I'm gonna end up doing is sending this back and trying this guy out. So let me take it off. It's really simple. It's kind of barbaric. You sort of Grab this end on here and pull up towards you. You gotta do it kind of hard. And then it pops off just like so. So let me put this guy aside. This is it. Sorry, that's it. Screen blast protector from Amfilm. Again, does a great job. I just, uh, those two things, those are kind of what I didn't like about it. So next, this is another screen protector. This is specifically for the Ultra. And let me, let me go ahead and open all of this up. The cool thing I liked about this was these come built in. Now, a lot of the ones that I've seen before, this is a two-piece set. You've got this piece here, and you put it into like a frame like this, and you, you hope that you lined it up right, and then you go ahead and put it on. The rest of the stuff that it has is pretty simple. We've got a cleaning wipe uh, wet and a cleaning wipe dry. We've got some cards that can go ahead, and once you're done doing that, you can pull sort of the dust off of the top of it like so. And if for some reason you're having a hard time remembering uh, what you saw, um, there's also written instructions. Now the other cool thing that I liked about this was when I found this on Amazon, this was, uh, everything was inclusive. There was a video attached um, to the item itemized list. I watched the video, that's actually what made me buy this. I watched the video, I watched how easy it was to go ahead and do. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of walk you guys through it. So I'm gonna take this off. We have our two cleaning wipes here. So let's go with the wet one first. Not that big of a deal, just get all the nooks and crannies. And then we have the dry. Same idea, get all of that. And then this cool little stick tab, dust absorber. Right, put it on like that. All right, now we have this guy. Again, couldn't be simpler. You have two different sides here. 
Okay, so what we wanna go ahead and do, this is the back. We want to pull this off and you'll notice that there's this little alignment piece here. This is so that it goes ahead and gets aligned right on that. And the way this is built, it really is kind of dumb proof. You literally just line it up as best as you can. You push the thing all the way down and then you take your drawing pad like so. And you really sort of move it all the way around and then you hold down and you gently just kind of lift off like that and voila, it's on there. See how I've got this little, little spot right here. It's kind of hard to see in the corner. I'm going to end up working that out so that this is gone. But I mean, honestly, this is great. Using all types of tools to measure the hardness of it and everything else. And, you know, this the gentleman that was, that was doing this, the meter that he had, he had a Rolex or a Tissot. It was one of those two, or maybe it was an Omega. And then he had one of these. And then he had a Garmin that was another high-end watch that was almost twice the price of this. And he compared all of them with this specific meter, the ceramic, this um, sapphire crystal meter. And it had the exact same reading as the other high-end expensive watches. So I was pretty happy to hear that. Now, again, if, if this is the kind of content you guys like and you're interested in learning about my watch, I'm happy to roll through some of the features of it, some of the reasons why I bought it or why I, I, uh, I was happy enough to go ahead and get it for my wife. But at the very least, what I would ask is, could you please go ahead and hit subscribe? Uh, could you turn on that notification bell? And could you please go ahead um, and share this with your friends? Send me a like, you know, etc. Maybe if, if you feel so inclined, go ahead and put a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you, this was terrible, tell me it was terrible and tell me, you know, uh, what you would have rather seen. But if you think it's brilliant and wonderful, Go ahead and put that down in the chat. I really, really, really would appreciate it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, I hope this sort of helps you decide what you want to do. If you decide to go ahead and buy a watch like this or another one of those, you can see it's really not that difficult to go ahead and put the crystal on. Anyways, have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you soon.